Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video on the channel. And today, we are going to be going over the brand new Mud Heroes promo. Sorry, no video yesterday. Very busy. Had some stuff to do. So, sorry about that. Also, been grinding on the core domination. So, there should be a completion video without within the next few days. I'm not quite done with it, but I'm about to start Sue Bird over there. So, make sure to check out all the NBA Supercard content on the channel if you haven't already. But before we get into the rest of the video, guys, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so as you guys can see, the Mud Heroes promo is in the game right here um i don't know too much about this i looked at all the players and stuff but i don't know too much about how the promo actually works so we got the origin story right here let's just kind of go through this your story begins here with the simple choice of whether to act or not take a leap of faith and dip your toes into the pool that is mud heroes complete the mud heroes challenges work your way through your epic mud heroes origin story and learn the truth behind it all once you have unraveled the mystery you will have earned a 95 overall nat mud heroes fantasy spec so you're gonna get a nat 95 right there which is pretty cool we got time to step into the big leagues complete all tier all three tier one activities win 50 games pass for 3,000 yards to earn 1,000 coins of progress towards get 200 tackles all right so complete all three tier activities for time to step into the big leagues earn a 93 overall heroes fantasy pack so if I do all this I get a 93 hero and then right here complete all three tier two activities and if you do that, you get a 95, win 100 games, pass for 8,000 yards, 500 tackles. And right here, tier 3, you get another 95 overall player, which is just going on. And then use the Mud Hero players you've gotten in the steps above to acquire a 97 overall Hero Master. So I guess the set is going to require two 95s and 93. Huh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool that it's fantasy packs too. We got two be continued on 312, 319, and 326. So there's going to be the next chapter of these coming every week on Friday, it looks like, which is super dope. We also got the My Heroes Daily Assist. The goons are on the loose. Complete this mission before 10.30 a.m. Eastern come tomorrow to earn a Mud Heroes badge. Collect eight Mud Heroes badges and exchange them in Cessor earning 95 overall in that Mud Heroes fantasy pack. We got Bust Big Lunks Barricade. Break through Big Lunks Barricade. Get five sacks to earn a Mud Heroes badge. So you just gotta get five sacks. Okay, that's pretty easy. I'll probably get that done with the challenges later today. Um, but yeah, that looks really dope. The missions, I guess it's kind of like a storyline. We'll go and check out the challenges, see what the, um, what's it called? The, uh, well, I, can't, I can't remember for some reason. The milestones, that's what it is. Let's see what the milestones are. So at seven stars, you're just gonna get a bunch of coins. Then at 28, you get an 87 plus Mud Hero player. Um, at tier 8, which is 56 stars, you get 87 plus. And then at tier 11, which is 77 stars, you get the 95 overall Nat Mud Heroes Fantasy Pack. And then at tier 18, you get another 87 plus if you want to go ahead and complete these. Um, it looks like you're going to earn 42 stars on this one. In the first one, you're doing a challenge for all of the 97 overalls. And then the Origins, which I would assume either unlock when you finish this or unlock... Yeah, me beat all the Mud Heroes, Humble Beginnings, so you just have to complete all the other challenges and you can go ahead and unlock these two. Which, so, I, I'd assume that's just how you get your pack, is by completing some of those challenges. Um, so we'll have to see there, but pretty good challenges, nothing too difficult it looked like. Definitely playable challenges. Now, I did load up some points on the account, just so I could open up some of these special offers. I did see a couple of them. We got the Mud Heroes Day 1 pack. We got the Mud Heroes Veteran Bundle. We got the Mud Heroes Sidekick pack as well. I don't think I'm going to be opening all of these. And we got my Weekly Elite Fantasy pack. Let's go ahead and get into... We'll start off with the Weekly Elite Fantasy pack because we have we open these every Friday. So we'll see what we can get out of here. Maybe the new the Limiteds that were out yesterday. We got a Thanksgiving player, Gerard Wilson. Moving on to the second card, we get a, what, ultimate kickoff, Philip Rivers, not very good, and our coin quick sell is going to go ahead and be 86 Toronto Armstead. That's really good. Wow. It's our highest overall card, and it's the coin quick sell. I know that quick sell is for like 100k, right? 160. Wow. That's a really good pull right there. I'll definitely take that. Um, we're definitely going to get this Mud Heroes Veteran Bundle. I can guarantee you that much. And that leaves us with about 1,050 exactly, which I believe is what we need for the Mud Heroes Sidekick Pack, which contains 190 plus Mud Heroes player and an 80, 187 plus. We could also just open up something else like a Mud Heroes in, Initiate Pack, um, 187 and 91, and one, yeah. We'll just go ahead and open up the Mud Heroes Sidekick Pack, and we'll see what we can get out of here as it's already opening, and I did not see what we got, thankfully. 
so we'll see what we get um later i just want to go ahead and get into these uh we got the mud heroes welcome pack as well so we'll get into that one to start off um and right here we get ourselves deandre hopkins which makes sense and a mutt tip and there's also a, um, a Darius Slay limited time in packs if you guys want to go ahead and get him. Um, did it open that pack for us? It might have just straight opened it and then it went to my binder. If it did that, I'm going to be upset. Did it do that? Um, we'll see our newest. And it did. And we got a Kalecio Semele out of there. All right, isn't it just a 91 and 87? Wow, we got a Kalecio Semele and a George Fant. That's really good. Wow, what a pack. Yeah, that's a really, really good pack there. I'm happy with that. All right. Well, that's, that's a good way to start off pulling a 95. Um, let's go ahead and get into the rest of these packs. We'll start off with the initiate initiate pack or initiate. I don't even. I think that's initiate. We'll see what we can get out of here. We get a Foster Moreau. Where is our all, not all rookie. Where's our Mud Hero card going to be? It's going to be right here. That's a sick animation. 87 Josh Sweat. Not the best pull in the world. I'm just going to quick sell all the golds. I don't like keeping the golds anyway. Um, we will... We'll save the 91 plus for the last. And we'll just go ahead and get into our Mud Heroes Fantasy Packs. I don't know what's in here. There's three rounds, it says. You need to pick four cards in the first round. We get an Elite, which is solid. And we'll take the two high overall Elites. Second round is Elites as well. And we get three Core Elites, but we get a D-Hop. You only get one selection here. And here's Mud Heroes players. Can we get a good one? 89 ian thomas i do need that card so i might take him yeah all right ian thomas that's solid i need him for the panthers theme team so it's not the worst pull i guess we can go ahead and keep him um i'm just gonna quick sell my golds because i just like getting training out of golds and even charberry's ward isn't gonna have value i just kind of like having the training from golds i don't really they don't sell for much so just might as well quick sell them i right, here we start off with a mud heroes player oh that was a 91 plus oh my god i forgot we got the we got a 93 cross black log which is good um did we only get one Oh, yeah, I guess we only got one face back. I thought we got two for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, let's get into the second 91 plus overall Mud Hero pack. That is going to go ahead and be George Fan. All right, not the best pull in the world. My voice went really high there. Um, wow, all right, not the best pull in the world, but it is what it is. We got some good cards out of there. We got some cards that will definitely sell for stuff, and I'll be able to make some coins, which is really nice. Um, getting into the Mud Hero set, we got the Master sets, which... Yes, it does look like you need to trade in 295s and 193 to earn a 97 overall of your choice. There's obviously almost one per team. Uh, Brown's got JC Treader, which is really nice. Panthers got Brian Burns um, and a bunch of different great guys here. I'm not going to go over these guys' stats in this video just because I feel like I don't want to make this video crazy long. You can go and check out guys like Xerxes if you want them to go in depth with the stats of these players. Exchange-wise, uh, we got the 95 overall Mud Heroes Exchange, which is trading 293s, the 93, which is 291. The 91, which is 289s, and the 89, which is 287s. So, solid exchange sets. And here's the Heroes Badge Exchange to earn in your 8 Mud Hero badges to earn your 95 overall Nat Mud Heroes player. Pretty solid stuff right there. I mean, nothing you can really complain about. One thing I want to see is how much is this day one pack? What is even in here? It contains 287 plus Mud Hero players. Is that worth spending five bucks on? There's also this hero badge pack, which contains five mud hero badges. See, we get five days ahead of schedule. That might be worth it. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it for the content. I'll open up this mud heroes day one pack for you guys, and we'll see what's in it. I'll be right back. All right, we got the points on the account. Let's go ahead and get into this Mud Heroes Day 1 pack. What are we going to get out of here? We get two. It just gives us 287 pluses, all right? Can we get a high overall pull, possibly a 97 out of here? I don't even know if you can pull them. And we get an 87 KJ Hamler. Not the best start. Can we get a 95, possibly a 97? Maybe Darius Slay? 89 Sean Lee. All right, I saw that card at like 82 speed, so that's not a good card at all. But I'll take it. We got an, at least one above 87, so not the worst stuff in the world. Those cards are probably going to sell for a decent amount if I had to guess. Because these, these 97s, there are some good cards. Like that Lamar Jackson is really good. So I'm, I'd assume some of these are going to be expensive. How much is that Kelechi Osemele? Um, He's currently, wow, 150k. That's really nice. And then we also pulled a Ross Blacklock, who I'd probably imagine like 80k. Yeah, he's about 80k as well. So that yeah, we got some really solid pulls in this video. Uh, what are the 91s going for? Like George Fant, um, about 40k. So I'm gonna make a ton of coins off this. What like already like 130 and then 170. The other 91 would add up to about 
210 and then 89 Sean Lee we have we are at 210 right now that's about 230 and then KJ Hamler I'd imagine like 10k probably we're at 230 I'd say about 240 we'll just say 240 and then we have Vita Vey, which I'm not gonna count towards we'll say 255 with Josh Sweat and then we got DeAndre Hopkins whoa why is DeAndre Hopkins 60k all right, that's we made 310. Why is DeAndre Hopkins 60k? What the heck? All right, we made 300. Oh, he literally got a card today. That's probably why. Uh, but we made 310k off this pack opening. That's that's really good. Wow, that Kalecchio Semele pull was clutch though. That that's really good. That was a really good first like impression on this. We made a ton of coins. I'll definitely be able to buy a couple players now for the theme team. But yeah, guys, that is gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did. Make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.